What's up, everybody? I've got three stories to tell, all about one different scar about an inch away from my right eye. Three different incidents. First one happened, I was about seven or eight years old. I'm in my aunt's apartment. She's having a party. A bunch of her friends and their kids are over. I was the type of kid that I just kind of sat by myself reading a book or looking at something really cool, in my opinion, while every other kid was around doing more fun things and running around and doing those sort of uh, kids' things. Um, but I was sitting in my, my cousin's room, uh, two girl cousins, and they both had really fancy, bougie, canopy beds. Uh, and so I was sitting on one of them, just doing whatever I was doing. And so some kids are running around playing tag, and one kid who's trying to evade the person trying to tag him comes around to the bed and tries to whip that corner really fast and hard. You know, So he grabs the pole, whips it really fast, pops the pole right out, the pole that's right next to me sitting on the bed. Pole is gone, the kid's on the floor. I look up, canopy is crashing down on top of me. Right smack in the middle of my face, right on my nose. So I can't tell. All I know, I, all I know is that it hurts. And then everybody is screaming and they're looking at me. Like, oh my goodness, he's bleeding from his eyes. I'm like, and I run over to the mirror. I'm like, ah, I see what looks like the equivalent to a flux capacitor <laughs> where the circuits are blood. So it starts at the corner of my eyes, right down to the bridge, down my face, down my lips. And I'm like, where's my mommy? Like, I'm just screaming because I got blood on my face. And I think I'm bleeding from my eyes because that's what it looked like. So they run, they get my mom. My mom comes in. She's like, okay, you know, chill out, chill out, sit down. She sits down, she looks at it. You know, we, we go to the bathroom and wipe it all off. And it's clearly just one um, point of impact right in the center of my nose here. And so, like, my mom's, like, cool as shit. So she comes along. She's like, okay, what do we got for this? Just medical tape. That's it. We don't have any Band-Aids or anything else. I got this. Give me that. She's she's like a Puerto Rican MacGyver. She like constructs butterfly stitches out of just the the medical tape on my face. She's like, ah, you're fine. Okay. And so school pictures that year really sucked because I just had this big thing on my face there. But to this day, and you can't see it if you just look right at me, but if you get really close and I make this face at you, I know I'm being weird. It's because of how I am. But you can really see that scar on the right smack in the middle of my nose. Fast forward a few years, I'm about 16, and I'm at home at our apartment, me, my mother, my sisters, and I'm playing with basketball in the house. We all know the number one rule, you know, playing with balls in the house. My mom is sitting, playing Dr. Mario or Legend of Zelda, whatever my mom was into at that time, and I'm behind her, and I'm working on my, my form, my shooting form with the basketball. You know, it's all about the follow-through. you got to get that flick of the wrist going on. So I'm just, like, ball up in the air. And for the most part, I'm on target. It comes right back down to me. But every now and then, the ball gets away from me. And my, I hear my mother, Daniel, and that's how I know when I'm in trouble, when she says my name with a Spanish accent, Daniel, no playing balls in the house. All right, I'm not playing. I'm just throwing it up in the air. So I grab it. She goes back to playing her game. I start doing some more. And like I said, every now and then it gets away from me. This time it got away from me. I was right behind my mother doing it. And no, I know what you're all thinking. It landed and hit my mother. But no, it didn't. Instead, it went up, went behind me, and I turned around just to kind of catch it as, pause, earlier that day, my mother was sitting at the coffee table here doing the bills. With the bills was a letter opener made of steel, also hanging that far off the edge of the table. Guess where the ball landed? Boom. <laughs> Caught me like a ninja star right to my eyebrow. It did not stick, but it hit me hard enough, bounced down, and woke me the fuck up. <laughs> you know, I couldn't say anything to my mother because I'd really be in trouble. So I just, oh, sh-. <laughs> and as I'm walking past her, you know, the ball then... Doom, doom, doom. Daniel, que yo te dije? Like, what did I tell you? No playing balls in the house. So I run to the bathroom, and I'm like, oh, shit. Like, my, my eyebrow, like, swelled up. And, like, it was a, a vertical scar. So it was kind of like, you know, through the hair. It was just, like, talking at me sideways. 
And I was like, oh my goodness, what can I do? I was more scared of what would happen if I told my mother that happened because I didn't listen to what she was saying before. So I, like, you know, snuck past her again, went to the, the, uh, the, the kitchen and got some ice, put it on there. I was like, okay, I've seen this enough. I kind of know what to do. You just put some ice on it, it'll swell down, it'll, it'll be fine, it'll stop bleeding eventually. It did stop bleeding eventually. This scar is more visible than the other scars, but I did remember that I had to listen to what my mother tells me because mom knows the best for sure. <laughs> the last scar, I was out of mom's house. This time I was living with my girlfriend. I was about 22. And she and I like to play games. I mean, clearly it runs in the family. And so we're in the living room and we're sitting down and we're playing Mario 64, actually Mario Kart 64. And we're in front of the TV. She's here next to me. I'm here. And I was one of those, I'm, I am one of those pain in the ass Mario Kart players that is in first place and waits a little before the finish line so I can catch the next person before, you know, before I go across the line. And I was one of those pains in the asses. And so I beat her at the game and like we're there, you know, we got our soda here, yeah. I, uh, like a Reese's peanut butter cups for the victor. And so I beat her and I'm like, yeah, in your face. Ha, ah, it's mine, and I look for the chocolate, and it's not there, and I look over my shoulder, and there's her little pain-in-the-ass dog, Pekingese. Her name was Daisy. She was a little shit. She took the chocolate and went over under the table, thought she was hiding, just like, my precious, eating it in the corner, and I'm like, I mean, aside from the fact that I know it's bad to let dogs eat chocolate, that's my chocolate. Give me, give me that chocolate. So I turn. I drop the control, I turn, and I'm crawling after this little piece of army crawl under the table in the dining room, and she's there. As I, as I get closer, she tries to run away, and I said, give me that, and I reach out. I grab it from her under the table, and I'm like, give me that, stupid fucking dog. The corner of the table was right there, right there. Caught me in my eyebrow, about an eighth of an inch away from basketball incident. So this time I do go to the hospital, and they pretty much do everything that my mom did before, what I did before, you know, they got the swelling down, they got the real stitches in there. And so, you know, it, it was all covered up, and so I called my mother after that, and I said, Ma, yeah, you know, she wanted to know what happened, why, why I went to the hospital. I said, you know, the dog took my chocolate, and I had to get my chocolate back. <laughs> and so she said... Well, you should have let him have the chocolate. Maybe it will learn this lesson, you know, and stop bothering you. That's what you get for being a grown man fighting with a little dog over some chocolate. <laughs> so, with all these three stories, it's always a reminder when I think back to them. And there are two things that always come to mind. One, it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. Two, mother really does know best. Thank you.